Good afternoon. İyi günler hanımefendiler, beyefendiler, değerli konuklarımız. Ben Mustafa Özben ve sizleri FIBA 17 yaş altı basketbol World Cup 2024. Welcome to Turkey. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm also very happy to welcome our many guests who are here today for this important occasion. I would like to welcome FIBA President Sheikh Saud Ali Al Thani, FIBA Secretary General Andrea Saklis, FIBA Euro President Jorge Garbahosa, the President of the Turkish Basketball Federation, Hidai Türkoğlu, and the Minister of Youth and Sports of Republic of Turkey, Dr. Osman Ashkin Bak. Welcome all. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup 2024 will be played over nine days, from June the 29th to July the 7th, with 16 national teams on the court giving their all to become the world champions. The United States of America claimed this title in the last edition in Spain, held in 2022, in an exciting final against the host nation, winning their sixth straight World Cup. This year's tournament will be hosted in Istanbul at the Sinan Adam Dome and Ahmed Jomet Sports Complex. We have already seen some spectacular events in recent times here in Istanbul, with the FIBA Basketball World Cup in 2010, the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup in 2014, and FIBA Eurobasket in 2017. Now, let's take a closer look to this amazing city. Ladies and gentlemen, Istanbul. Fascinating city. Dear guests, for the tip-off of today's proceedings, I would now like to welcome our first speaker onto the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of the Turkish Basketball Federation, Mr. Hidayet Türkoğlu. Esteemed Mr. Minister, Sayın Bakan, FIBA President Mr. Altani, FIBA Euro President Mr. Garbahosa, FIBA Secretary General Mr. Zayiklis, dear guests and member of press, welcome to the FIBA Under-17 World Cup draw ceremony. It's a great honor for us to host it here. We are delighted to host the FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup in Istanbul from June 29th to July 7th. The prospect of the world's top 16 teams competing in Istanbul will excite us. Turkish Basketball Federation plays great emphasis on youth development. This tournament provides pivotal opportunity for our young athletes to experience a World Cup and is crucial for testing their world-class abilities against international rivals. For the aspiring national team players from our 2007-2008 generation, gaining experience against the teams from different countries and cultures, tournaments will be available investments for future success. 
In this regard, Turkey will continue to be a candidate to host any organization, organizations which support basketball and its development. With the three FIBA events scheduled in our country this year, we will have hosted our 10th FIBA event since 2017. We have become a valuable partner through close collaboration and successful organization between Turkey and FIBA. The presence of Mr. Altani and my friend, Mr. Garbahosa, among us today underscores the value they attach to organization indicating that we are on the right path. The Basketball Development Center, which is near, is completing. We'll be hosting many international events in the coming years and become the new hub for basketball worldwide. I had the opportunity to show the facility to the presidents yesterday, and they, they were really impressed. Dear guests, we are all working for the present and future of basketball. I believe that they will make us proud in this tournament as well as they have done in the previous tournaments. Thank you for all being here with us today. I'm extending my best wishes to all the countries and all the athletes. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much, Mr. Turkoglu. What an incredible opportunity to host the FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup here in Istanbul. As the president expressed, the Turkish Basketball Federation, under his leadership, always pays a special emphasis on the development of our youngsters and always a candidate as a country to host the international events of FIBA. Ladies and gentlemen, to deliver his speech, I would now like to invite to the stage our next esteemed speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome FIBA President Sheikh Saud Ali Al Fani. Esteemed Minister of Youth and Sports, dear President of Turkish Basketball Federation, ladies and gentlemen, friends of basketball around the world, on behalf of FIBA, I welcome you to the draw of the FIBA Under-17 World Cup in Istanbul, Turkey. I am very happy to be part of this important mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ceremony Thank you very much to the Turkish Basketball Federation, the city of Istanbul, and the local organizer, organizing committee. FIBA and the Turkish Basketball Federation have a long history. Together we have host hosted many successful FIBA events at the world and Europe level. FIBA Europe will also organize together with you the final four of Europe women next month. The Under-17 World Cup is an important event for FIBA. Many players started their international career in this event. It is the first experience with the national team at the World Cup. I am sure they will never forget it. Two years ago, we saw a very good final between USA and Spain with a venue full of fun in Malaga. FIBA is confident that Istanbul will also experience great, great moments in July. And the fantastic venue of Sinan Erdem, I am happy that the stars of tomorrow are coming to Turkey. I wish good luck to all 16 teams taking part in a great tournament. Thank you. Thank you very much, FIBA President, Mr. Alfani.
So may I kindly ask you to remain on this stage as the president of the Turkish Basketball Federation would like to present a gift to you. Mr. Turkoglu, may I kindly invite you to the stage once again, please. Thank you. The president of the Turkish Basketball Federation, Mr. Hidai Turkoglu, is presenting a gift in the memory of the draw event of FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup. Yet another gift being presented by the President of Turkish Basketball Federation, Mr. Turkoglu, to FIBA President, Sheikh Saud Ali Al Fani. <laughs> Mr. Turkoglu, thank you very much. Mr. Al Fani, thank you very much. We would like to thank once again the President of FIBA, Sheikh Saud Ali Al Fani, for his kind remarks. Thank you very much, sir. We really look forward to this world-class event. Distinguished President, as now that we have finished with the second speaker, we are also joining us also today at this draw event is the Distinguished Minister. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome His Excellence, the Minister of Youth and Sports of Republic of Turkey, Dr. Osman Ashkin Bak. Mr. Minister. Distinguished FIBA President, Mr. Alfani, Distinguished FIBA Europe President, Mr. Garboza, FIBA Secretary General Andres Sakres, Distinguished President of Turkish Basketball Federation, Mr. Turkoglu, Distinguished Athletes, Distinguished uh, Sports Lovers, Distinguished Members of the Press, I would like to welcome you all to U17 uh, World Basketball uh, Cup Draw event. Turkey is an important country when it comes to um, well events and organizations and today we are seeing uh, the proof of that for the past 22 years a sports revolution is being experienced in our country and uh, most important uh, sports facilities of the world are being offered to our country the stadiums being built big sports complexes swimming pools and uh, the facilities all around the country are on the rise and all of these are uh, for the um, youngsters in our country yeah. and the youngsters in the world Çok to engage in sports and attend the organizations. Kimse Again, a very important facility is being offered to our country, to Istanbul, a Turkish Basketball o Development Center. Well, this facility is a special one. Where many facilities uh, are being included while well, the main hall basketball uh, fields and also a special a private court for the national team it's a very big complex so the uh, the basketball players which will be the future of our country will be raised here and we will see the all the investments that we're making in here um, while well, will be ripped in the future we had a great organization as you know 12 giant men really responded greatly by the country you want basketball to rise higher in our country Country. So we basically have a president that is uh, attaching great value to the youngsters. That so under his leadership, we are continuing to make these investments and build these facilities. On the other hand, Turkey, Turkey and Istanbul is a city as a candidate to be the city of basketball and we have uh, well accomplished many events with great success and in the future we will be uh, holding many organizations with a great uh, access and between 29th of june and 7th of july and uh, fiba uh, u17 uh, basketball world cup uh, draw event is being organized right now here and i wish all the success all the 16 um, teams that will be attending this tournament i am sure and confident that our athletes um, 
will be while ge getting together and uh, gaining great experience with the uh, well, international teams. This is a vision, this is a uh, road that we're working on. We have basically um, laid great foundation for for this. The Turkish Development Basketball Development Center is a vision, is a target for Turkish basketball. So we'd like to thank all everyone who have put effort into this and we're following uh, very closely with Mr. President. We'll be also uh, holding the opening ceremony uh, soon enough and I'm sure that here there will be great events to be organized for uh, national and global um, bo basketball Import important competitions will take place and I'm sure that basketball which has been supported by many segments of the society will be rising higher with that center and Turkish basketball will uh, put its mark uh, on uh, the globe. So once again, I'd like to thank uh, FIBA President Mr. Eltani, the uh, Europe uh, President, and everyone who has put into this effort. Uh, while Thank you very much for attending this uh, draw ceremony. They have also had a tour of the facilities that we're building, and when we talked to them a minute ago, uh, well, they once again reiterated that these facilities are so important for the uh, global and European basketball, for especially uh, raising new stars, and that it's essential, these facilities are essential to uh, for these athletes to come together and compete with each other. And we're waiting everyone, inviting everyone to Istanbul to basketball come and see these videos in Istanbul hopefully between 29th of June and 7th of uh, July we'll be here and I'm going to uh, follow all the uh, games very closely I am uh, a fan of basketball in Kabatash uh, High School and also in, um, other years when I was a student I've always been very much engaged with basketball I've uh, always followed closely all the competitions and the games and Turkey will have an important place in uh, world basketball, once, once again, I'd like to thank primarily our president who have supported uh, this journey. I'd like to thank everyone else who have invested in these facilities. I wish all the best. And I also uh, believe that the U17 uh, well, uh, World Cup will be very exciting and uh, the stars of the future, the stars of the future NBA uh, will be seen here. Maybe in the future we're going to say, well, we watched this athlete before and this athlete was a part of this team and had this move and played a great basketball and excited us. So we love basketball, we love sports, we love our country and I wish everyone the best. Thank you. Mr. Minister, we are really looking forward to this Under-17 World Cup tip-off. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started with draw, I would like to remind you once again, the participating teams of FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup that will take place here in Istanbul, Turkey. The nations are the host nation, Turkey, from Africa, Egypt, and Guinea, from the Americas, Argentina, Canada, Puerto Rico and the United States of America, from Asia, Oceania, Australia, China, New Zealand, and the Philippines, and last but not least, from Europe, France, Germany, Italy, Lithuania, and Spain. Now, let's take a closer look to the teams that will compete during this World Cup.
So ladies and gentlemen, we are really looking forward to see these teams in action during the FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup. One of these teams will be achieving their dreams and will lift this beautiful trophy at the end of this FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure the 16 teams are now eager to find out who they will face in this tournament. So let's begin today's proceedings and start the official draw of the FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup 2024. In order to explain the procedure and lead the draw, I would like to invite on the stage FIBA Head of Competition, Mr. Fabian Oepa. Fabian. Thank you, Mustafa. Welcome, Mr. Oep. So Thank it's you. really nice to have you here on the stage, and we are really, really excited about this draw event. Would you please be kind enough to explain us a little bit about the draw procedure? Thank you, Mustafa. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everyone. So the goal of a draw is to create groups of the same quality and to distribute teams from the same regions in all the groups evenly. In order to do so, we have created the pots that you can see on the screen. And those pots have been created based on the strength of the continent in the FIBA ranking, as well as with the results of the FIBA Under-16 Continental Championships in 2023. There will be geographical restrictions uh, for this draw. Basically, there will be a maximum of one team from Africa, one team from Americas, and one team from Asia Oceania in the same group, and from one to maximum of two teams from Europe in the same group. We'll start the draw with the first, with the pot one, and each time we'll draw a team, then we'll allocate a competition number that will allow us to create the pairings and the game schedule uh, of the group phase. And when we start with the group one, the pot one, sorry, then the first team to be drawn will be allocated to group A, then the second team to group B, third team to group C, and the last team to group D. Then we'll continue with pot two, pot three, pot four, and as we have geographical restriction, as we mentioned before, the draw software will help us to determine which group is available, and then we'll pick up the first group available by, by alphabetical order. So I think that's it for the draw. I hope it was clear enough. I think it was clear enough. So Fabian, I think we're all set. We are ready. The stage is ready. But I believe, even though we know how the draw procedure works, we need some helping hands exactly. to carry out the draw procedure. So for this, I'm really very happy to introduce and invite them on stage. Our first guest, he has represented the Turkish national basketball team in numerous tournaments, including Eurobasket and the FIBA World Cup. He was known for his tenacity and leadership on the court, contributing significantly to the successes of Turkey's basketball. So, ladies and gentlemen, to assist us with today's role, please welcome Kerem Tunçeri. So, Mr. Tunçeri, thank you very much for being with us today. You're and welcome. thank you very much for your assist, as you have always done in your professional career. So. If you allow me, I would like to invite two other guests that will also help us out. We need a little more help to do this. So please welcome to the stage two young players from under-17 national team of Turkey, Dirin Can Üstün and Kaan Onat. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome on the stage and thank you very much for your help. So, Mr. Oep, now we are ready. I leave the floor to you and let the draw begin. Thank you. Thank you, Mustafa. So I think we are ready for the draw now. So I will ask Mr. Tuncheri to start with the pot one. Spain. So Spain will be allocated to the group A. Spain took second place in 2022 after fourth place showings in 2012, wait, wait. 2014, and 12, oh, 2016. Sorry. Spain will be with competition number one in group A. So we can continue with the second team. United States of America. 
USA will be allocated to the first available group, which is Group B. The United States are six-time champions, going undefeated all six tournaments. With the competition number two. Turkey. So Turkey will be allocated to the group C. Turkey is hosting this tournament for the first time and have two past appearances, topped by second place in 2016. With the competition number two. Then the, the last, last team, sorry, from the pot one. Australia. Australia will be allocated to the group D. Australia have never missed the quarterfinals and finished second in 2012 and 2014. With the competition number four. Then we can pot move two. to the pot two, Mr. Tinchere. Lithuania. So Lithuania will be allocated to the group A. Lithuania have reached the top four three times in four appearances, including third place in 2016. With the competition number two. France. So France will be allocated to the group B. France grabbed second place in 2018 and third place in 2022. With the competition number three. Italy. So Italy will be allocated to the group C. Italy took ninth place in their only previous under-17 World Cup appearance in 2014. With competition number four, and the last team of pot two. Canada. So Canada will be allocated to the group D. Canada have reached the quarterfinals in five of six tournaments, taking third in 2010. With the competition number three. Now we can move to the pot, pot three. Four. Puerto Rico. So Puerto Rico will be allocated to the first group available, which is group A. Puerto Rico reached the podium in 2018 with a third place finish. With the competition number four. Argentina. So Argentina will be allocated to the only group available, Group C. Argentina have never missed the Under-17 World Cup and their best finish in sixth in 2012. The competition number one. Mr. Tincheri. Guinea. So Guinea will be allocated to the Group B. Guinea. This will be Guinea's first ever appearance at a FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup. With the competition number four. First one. Germany. And then Germany will be allocated to the Group D. Germany hosted the first Under-17 World Cup in 2010 and are making their second appearance. With the competition number two. 
Then we can move to the last pot, pot four. Philippines. So Philippines will be allocated to group A. The Philippines will be making their third appearance following 2014 and 18. With competition number three. Egypt. So Egypt will be allocated to the group D. Egypt's best showing came in 2022 at an under-17 World Cup when they finished in 10th place. To the competition number one. China. So China will be allocated to the group B. China returns to the under-17 World Cup after missing out on the event in 2022. With competition number one. Last one. And then the last team for this draw. New Zealand. New Zealand will be allocated to the group C. This is New Zealand's third straight appearance at the FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup. With the competition number three. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can now see, the draw for the FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup 2024 is now complete. So, Mr. Webb, if you do not mind, let's go over the groups once again. Thank you, Mustafa. So, Group A will have Spain, Lithuania, Philippines, and Puerto Rico. For Group B, we'll have China, USA, France, and Guinea. For Group C, Argentina, Tur Turkey, New Zealand, and Italy. For Group D, Egypt, Germany, Canada, and Australia. Thank you very much, Mr. Webb. I would also thank like you. to take this opportunity to thank Karim Tuncheri and you. our young players. Thank you very much, Mr. Tuncheri. Derin Can Üstün and Khan Onat. Thank you thank very, very much, much, gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's proceedings. And thank you to those who are here in Istanbul and all of you tuning in to watch the draw event. We really look forward to seeing you all for the basketball's rising stars during the FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup 2024 here in Istanbul, Turkey. Thank you very much and see you in Turkey. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hart.